Photo Universe. All right, this is a um, little French press coffee I got going on. I roast my own beans and make some coffee. This is a Friday, Saturday blog that I think I'm gonna start doing, talk about photography, just kind of hang out with you guys and let you know what's going on in the world of photography. Um, we got Photo Kina coming up in uh, three weeks. And uh, that should be an interesting uh, show, it always is. Um, Pentax has come out with the X5, which is kind of a K5 body with a lens glued on. I mean, okay, that's one of those products you come out with when your company's just been bought. Man, there's been no rumors of the K5 replacement. The K5 has been discontinued officially, at least here in the United States, I think pretty much everywhere. Um, you know, I wouldn't worry about that. Um, K5 is a great camera, and uh, you know we're at the point now where you know that camera is going to serve for years. Um, I'm not. I'm curious to see what comes out in the next uh, at Photokina, but uh, I'm not. I'm not too concerned about it. I mean, um, I'm not. It's not like uh, when I was shooting a 20D or a Nikon. Um, you know. Uh, D200, and it was like, oh my God, you know, I, I, I just, I need more quality. Um, I'm not getting the quality I want. No problems with the K5. As a matter of fact, I backed up from the 5D Mark II, as a lot of you guys know, because didn't like the interface and didn't need that little bit extra quality, even if it's there. I mean, I don't really see it in my work, so, um, which is interesting. Um, you guys know I like gear, okay? So where are we at right now? Um, you know the 5D Mark III Canon is everything I wanted the 5D II to be, but uh, at 3,500 bucks U.S. dollars, no, you know, uh-uh. If that camera were 2,500 U.S. dollars, I might be tempted. And um, you know, as we uh, don't be surprised as we go into Christmas time and the prices come down again this year, like they do every year, it seems. Um, if they do, if that camera gets south of three thousand, uh, you know, I might dabble. I might be interested. I know the D eight hundreds out there, but quite honestly, thirty six megapixels, twenty two megapixels. I, I'm shooting sixteen on a crop camera, and I'm thrilled. And I do landscape work, and and, and I'm critical. Um, uh, yeah, it might be fun to have, but the size and weight, I, I mean, I'm really digging the fact that my Pentaxes are small and the lenses are small. And, and they're, you know, and that's, that's where it's at for me. Um, but having said that, you know, uh, the price of the 5D Mark III comes down, which I suspect it will, because uh, they're in stock everywhere. I don't think they're selling so hot. Um, and at 3,500 bucks, you know what? What they're okay. So like, there's pros out there that shoot weddings and things, and, and that you know they've been they, they've been shooting a 5D Mark II for years, and so um, <clears throat> they're going to uh, they've already bought them. There's no question about it. But but where I suspect a lot of the sales are on those kind of cameras is on the guys who um, who have a, 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 60, a, D, a 60D. And um, you know, or a, or a 7D or whatever, and they want to upgrade to full frame, and they've kind of already done that with a 5D Mark II, and I, I don't see them like jumping. I mean, Canon hasn't given those people a reason to jump. Canon hasn't given a people for a reason for the the serious amateurs who have 5D Mark IIs to upgrade to the 5D III. Okay. Um, the fi in my opinion, I mean, the, the 5D2 people, they've got uh, 22 megapixels, and you know, if anything, they want more megapixels because they think they need them. And so, like, if the 5D Mark III was 36 megapixels, I think Canon, Canon would have sold a lot more of them. Um, if the price wasn't so dear, okay, I mean, you know, you could pick up a, a 5D Mark II with the lens right now for three grand, and you're going to pay 4,200 for the. 5D Mark III. I mean, people aren't perceiving that as, as an, you know, but like I said, the wedding photography shooters, the pro shooters who are shooting 5D Mark IIs, they've already upgraded. Okay, Canon's not getting that 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 extra that extra dosh from the people who are who are who are already satisfied and don't have a reason to really upgrade. Okay, um, Nikon, on the other hand, gave everybody a reason. 
whether it's a necessary reason or not. The point is, is uh, you know, that's marketing. If you can convince people to buy your product, even if they don't need it, that's what it's all about. I mean, you know, right? Okay. Um, very few people have the self-control to say, you know, these features are more important to me than those other features, like Pentax, right? Okay. So. Um, so having said all that, you know, we're looking to see what Pentax comes out with. Um, uh, K5 replacement. Pentax comes out with a full frame. That would be interesting. Um, it, it wouldn't be as weird as uh, when Nikon was swearing up and down that APS-C was the professional way to go, and then they came out with a full frame, right? So, I mean, it can happen. But Nikon did it. Why can't Pentax, right? I know Pentax is heavily into the APS-C lenses, and they did them right. But they can make a full fit. There's nothing stopping them. And now that Rico's in charge, I mean, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see a, a smaller full frame with professional full frame body. That'd be cool. I mean, a full frame uh, sensor in a K5 size body, something like that. I mean, if they could pull it off, that'd be cool. I'd be interested in that. Um, a root, so that's Photokina coming up. Keep your eyes open on that. A lot of stuff coming out. Um, I'm looking forward to the weather's cooling off here a little bit finally. I mean, I've been hibernating. When it gets hot, I just, I'm not interested in doing anything. I just, I've been taking naps in the afternoon because it's been so hot. I just, I just don't do heat. And um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was, oh, uh, recently I've been, uh, so for the summer I was carrying around my K5 with uh, my um, prime limited lenses. But recently I've been carrying around a little bit bigger donkey bag, I think it's the F2, and I've had my 16 to 50 in it and my 30, uh, 50 to 135, uh, 2.8, and my Penta, you know, the Pentax lens. I've been enjoying that rig. And uh, I will say this, okay, I have the 8 to 16 Sigma, which great lens, love it. But you know what? I wish I had the 12 to 24 Pentax, and that's my next lens to buy if when Pentax gets them in stock again. They haven't been making them. Um, there hasn't been a 12 to 24 in stock at b and in six months. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, I hope they make those again, because because I'd, li I'd like that. I mean, for me, the perfect bag would be 12, 24, 16, 50, 50, 135, for, that, for, for what I'm carrying around right now, so. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing, and that's, this is my new, uh, I'm going to try to do this once a week, maybe, you know, twice a month kind of a deal, every couple of weeks, comment on some of the things that are happening in the photography and some of the things that I'm doing, and so, um, so that's it. We've got the Celtic Festival coming up this weekend, looking forward to going and shooting that, get some fun shots, and uh, so we're getting back to it. You know, fall is prime time, that's my favorite weather, so I'm looking forward to it getting out there and sharing some of the stuff I'm doing with you guys. All right, have a 300 years. Thanks for your support, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.